This is Storyboard, bringing moments to life. I'm Bob Burford. Today's story is by Susan Camerad Campbell, a book publisher from South Carolina, recalling a moment in her grandma's kitchen in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I sat cross-legged on the red metal chair, the backs of my legs warming the cold, hard seat. Put this under you, Grandma said, handing me an army blanket. The blanket was scratchy under my legs, but familiar, like my granddad's scruffy cheeks. It smelled of the musky closet it came from, a pantry wide and deep at the back of the kitchen near the breezeway. The teapot whistled from its roost on the stove. Grandma turned the knob on the gas cooktop with a single twist, a movement so often made she did it without looking, without thought. In the clay pot near the teapot, wooden mixing spoons spread out like fingers receiving communion, like Grandma's fingers, worn and long, though hers were not straight, far from it. In the warmth near the stove, I could see the cloth-covered earthen bowl, the press of rising dough underneath, a pregnant belly ready for Grandma to undress it, scoop out the warm dough in her cradled hands, carry it to the table where I sat. Grandma leaned over the table, one hand sprinkling dry flour over the dough, then both hands working, lifting and thumping, fingers and palms pushing and folding, pushing and folding, the flesh on her arms all big and soft, jiggling the way my belly feels when I laugh, which I was doing right then, because Grandma had rolled the dough into a length that looked like my skinny arm. And when she picked it up, she formed it into a circle, and placed it on my head. Princess Susie, she said. Support for Storyboard comes from Midwest Vaco, growing healthy communities. Share your story at storyboardamerica.org.